Analysis of nitrogen is done using a special procedure called the Keldahl procedure. It's a little bit different from the way other procedures work because if you are doing wet ashing of nitrogen, you will often use nitric acid, which will confound the results. If you are doing dry ashing of nitrogen, you will create oxides of nitrogen that will volatilize off. So we need a procedure by which we can digest the material and trap the nitrogen that is generated from this. In the Keldahl procedure, we start off with a digestion that is done in a closed flask. You've got the material here. It is heated up. As this is heated up, you generate the nitrogen, but the nitrogen stays within the flask. It is not opened on the top. You use boiling sulfuric acid with potassium sulfate, which will have a boiling point of 373 degrees Celsius until the material is clear or totally digested. Your reaction is the sample plus the hydrogen sulfide gives you ammonium sulfate, which is aqueous, plus carbon dioxide, plus sulfur dioxide, plus water. The next step is to take the material you've got and boil it in the Keldahl flask with sodium hydroxide. You can see that there is a trap up at the top so that it only allows gas in and it does not allow in the water vapor. This will allow the ammonia to be generated, travel up through the glassware. It comes down the condenser where it will come in contact with a known volume of standard acid. You can see the end of the condenser is under the acid layer. Anything that is produced has to bubble out slowly through the acid so that it can be picked up. Procedures add sodium hydroxide, which converts the ammonium salt to ammonia, followed by heating. The end of the condenser is dipped into the boric acid solution. We get the liberation of ammonia. This is done because the ammonium sulfate plus the sodium hydroxide will give you sodium sulfate plus ammonia gas. The gas will be driven off. It will travel up the condenser. We then get the capture of the ammonia because the ammonium gets dipped into this boric acid solution. The boric acid plus the ammonia will give you ammonium plus a slightly different acid solution. You've changed the pH of the solution down in the bottom. Here. The next step is you determine the amount of ammonia present by back titration. Back titration looks at taking the boric acid plus the water plus sodium carbonate, which yields your sodium bicarbonate plus sodium borate plus carbon dioxide plus water. From that, you can determine exactly what you've got in there as far as ammonia that was present in side of the plant material, then you will look at the ammonia liberated that will tell you approximately the amount of protein that you've got. Remember, the material in the forms that you find in protein are all in ammonia type chemical formulas. When we're looking at it in the plant, we find most of the ammonia inside of proteins. Therefore, you get this very interesting combination of the two so that you can determine the amount of nitrogen in the plant. From that, you get a crude calculation on the amount of protein.